You probably already know Ariel. Ariel has been confronting colonialism, climate change, and a culture of extractivism her whole life. As a child, as a youth organizer, as a Dene leader, and as a co-founder and ED of the first ever Indigenous-led climate justice organization in so-called Canada. We think of organizers like Ariel as tireless, but they're not. They are human, and this work takes a toll on bodies, on spirits, on hearts. We need to care for the people that are fighting to protect our future generations. Not only when they are in the spotlight, not only for the work that they do. We need to care for them as human beings in a collective. If we expect Indigenous bodies who take the brunt of trauma from being on the front lines to stay in this movement for the long haul, we must support healing justice. Healing is justice, and justice is healing. Healing is work. Healing takes time. But that economic burden shouldn't be on the backs of Indigenous frontline land defenders to hold alone after dedicating their lives to protecting the earth for all of us. We need our movements to be radically caring spaces that support healing from trauma. Join us in supporting Ariel's sabbatical and funding ICA's new healing justice work.